Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Emma here, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Our Generation Bicycle, which I have right here. I already took it out of the packaging because I was going to review it on my channel, but then I had to go somewhere right after that, so I couldn't. So, um, but there wasn't really anything fancy about the packaging. It was like, it was just like this with like a Our Generation platform design. Let me move back so you can see the thing. And it was just zip tied in. There wasn't anything like fancy. There's no tags or anything. So I'm just going to give like the review. So, yep, let's get started. Okay, so I switched to this camera angle because I couldn't really get it all. I couldn't get the details from back there. So in the front, we have a plastic basket with a flower in the front. It's supposed to... Um, mimic a weaving design which I think is pretty cute and it's really deep you could put a lot of stuff in there and I was thinking about putting like a little puppy in there because that would look really cute or my mom said to put like a water bottle or something but I think the puppy would look cute so that's the basket and the tires are really nice they're rubbery but they feel like real tires which I think is so adorable because it can go on grass because it's not like a cheap plastic. It's actual rubber tire. And um, everything moves with, and I like these because it looks like a real bike, which I think is so cute. And they're all around and it has this, I don't really know. I think this is just to hold the wheel in place, which would obviously make sense. So it has like all the structures, kind of like an old, like not super old looking, but not super new looking. To these, I, have to, I mean like vibing kind of you know what I mean so over here it has like little tassels which I think are adorable because then they're riding if you push them they'll like fly in the wind and over here is the grips but it has these handle things for the doll to slide their hand through which I think is really convenient so she won't fall over like during stop motions and there's little more features that help so much with it so I'll show you that later so obviously on both sides and over here it's so cute the bell even moves it doesn't uh, the only thing is is that they made this bike but they didn't make the bell actually ring it just clicks which i don't understand but the bell detail is really cute so from this way it does have like these little dabs of hot glue which i'm not really excited about i kind of wish they hid that a little bit better but you know it doesn't really bother me but, um and then the seat is just a plastic with the license plate on the back. It says I Heart OG. And it says Explore. Hold on. Explore. Oh, Explore the World. And it has like the red pattern on it. And what I love about this bike is that it has training wheels so the bike can actually stand up. Like, I used to have Barbie bikes for my Barbie dolls, and it could never stand up because. Some of them didn't have training wheels on them, which really got me mad because I just tried to stand them up, but it wouldn't stand up. So I love the training wheels. They roll, obviously. Both, all the wheels roll just to make sense there. And this wheel is obviously the same as the other wheel, you know. But um, I think this one, does, this one doesn't even touch the ground. There's like a little space under it. But as it goes, oh, I just realized that it doesn't even move. I feel like that. that, that okay. But anyway, so over here it has the chain. The chain doesn't move unless, like, the chain doesn't exactly move if you move it because if the pedals move, then the doll would fall off. And that's what I think is so cool. If these move on their own and the bike moves on their own, so, like, with the Barbie bikes, when the bike moved, this moved, which got me so frustrated because if I wanted to just put a doll with straight legs, they would be, like, falling off the back, which, honestly, was not the most pleasant thing. But over here, I love this. It's so retro, and I love the color that they chose for it. it these color combination is so beautiful, and it has, like, all the bars going down. And these foot pedals, I just love them. I don't know why, it's just, these, they have the straps so they won't fall off. So their feet are strapped in and their hands are strapped in, which I think is amazing. So, and they spin, they do everything, but I'm just very happy that they don't move with the bike so they would fall off, which would not make any sense. So that is basically the whole bike. Overall, against Emily, it's about that tall, and yes, I have Molly over there. 
<laughs> she was holding the camera originally, but over here. And the best part about this bike is that it was only $34.99. The American girl that won, like they, when they used to sell it, was $150 and it looked exactly the same, which I don't, honestly don't know why they sold it for that much price. But um, yeah, so this bike is adorable. I'm gonna go see Emily up and I'll show you what she looks Alrighty, like. Alrighty, I have Emily on the bike and here's an overview. So the training wheels are balancing her up perfectly and our feet are strapped in. And I just cannot get over how deep this basket is. I love it so much. Like the American Girl one had flowers and I think you could take them out, but I don't, I don't know anybody that has it, so I wouldn't know. If you do, well then, good. Um, but yes, yeah, so she's sitting on it, she's balancing perfectly, and her hands strap right in here. This one might have came out. But um, the bike turns, well, you probably need two hands for that, so you hold the back, and it does turn in the front. Like, um, I don't really know exactly how to do this on camera. Let me try with my toe, hold on. Um, Yeah, no, I can't do that. You know, let me go the Since the tire just came off, it snaps right back in, which is good, so the thing can actually come off. For a minute, I thought I popped the tire. <laughs> I know it's not real, but I mean, for a minute, I actually was sold on that. But anyway, so she balances perfectly on this. I'm not gonna turn her because, you know, um, we just saw how that went. But I'm gonna put her hands in the, you know, it doesn't matter, she'll still stay on. So I'm gonna go behind her and I'm going to push her. So she stays up perfectly, which I really like. And she won't tip over unless obviously you push her over and like a gust of wind won't or something balancing. Everything balances evenly, perfectly, which I love. So um, yeah, so thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked it, remember to like and subscribe. And if you, and I am probably gonna add in a clip of a stop motion on her on the bike so I can show you how well it stands up. So um, I'm gonna go put that in and see you next time. Bye. Bye guys.